Today, the second week in Lent, and our morning prayer begins on page 726. I'm sorry, 326. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, you hate nothing you have created, and you forgive the sins of all who repent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our failings may receive from you the source of all mercy, perfect remission, and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Giver of the perfect gift, only hope of human race, hear the prayers our hearts uplift, trembling at thy throne of grace. Though the accusing voice within speaks of many a wrong to thee, thou canst cleanse from every sin, thou canst set the conscience free. Who can save us, Lord, but thou? Let thy mercy show thy power. Lo, we plead thy promise now, now in this accepted hour. O oh, may these our Lenten days, blessed by thee, with thee be passed, that with pure, nobler praise we may keep thy feast at last. God, the Holy Trinity, grant the mercy we implore. God, the one all praise to thee, through the ages evermore. Our psalm for this morning is taken from Psalm 22. <clears throat> I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among the assembled people. Praise the Lord, all you who fear him. Praise the Lord and honor him, all you descendants of Jacob. Show him reverence, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not ignored or belittled the suffering of the needy. He has not turned his back on them, but has listened to their cries for help. I will praise you in the great assembly. I will fulfill my vows in the presence of those who worship you. The poor will eat and be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts will rejoice with everlasting joy. The whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and return to him. All the families of the nations will bow before him, for royal power belongs to the Lord. He rules all the nations. Let the rich of the earth feast and worship, bow before him, all who are mortal, all whose lives will end as dust. Our hidden children will also serve him. Our future generations will hear about the wonders of the Lord, the righteous acts will be told to those not yet born. They will not hear about everything he has done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 7. You are a holy people who belong to the Lord your God. Of all the people on the earth, the Lord your God has chosen you to be his own special treasure. The Lord did not set his heart on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other nations, for you were the smallest of all nations. Rather, it was simply that the Lord loves you, that he was keeping the oath he had sworn to your ancestors. That is why the Lord rescued you from such a strong hand, from your slavery and from the oppression hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand, therefore, that the Lord your God is indeed God. He is the faithful God who keeps his covenant for a thousand generations and lavishes his unfailing love on those who love him and obey his commands.
Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is now still near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. Let them turn to Yahweh that he may have mercy on them. To our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says Yahweh, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth, causing the grain to grow and producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry, so it is with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that all who believe in him might be saved and become inheritors of everlasting life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors, and he re remembered his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that all who believe in him might be saved and become inheritors of everlasting life. Lord God, you have brought us out of slavery to sin, into the freedom of new life through the death and resurrection of your Son. This morning we lift to you our sacrifice of thanksgiving. For the privilege of turning away from sin, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the strength you give us to abandon selfishness and deceit, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the humility to bestow that which rescues us from pride and arrogance. We give you thanks, Lord God. For the gift of new life which flows forth in baptism, our cleansing tide. We give you thanks, Lord God. And no matter our situation, you always stand ready to hear us. This morning, as a new day begins, we intercede for those needs which we now call to mind. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For penance and connection to become a pathway to renewal in our lives. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For lowliness of heart to inspire us to serve you and others. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For the privilege of giving of ourselves that others may know life to the full. 
You are Lord, for your mercy is great. For the courage to worship you always in spirit and in truth. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for the audacity to cling to your love, no matter what the world, the flesh, or the devil seek to place in our path. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, sacrifice to help others that they may better their lives and give them help along the way in this journey. May we hold on to the things of this world tight enough to give them away to someone else. May we listen, O oh Lord, to those in need, to those who want to talk, to those who need someone just to listen and understand what they're going through. May we be there for them. May you bless us here this morning at St. Martin's Chapel as we say Mass in a little while. And Lord, may also you bless all churches and all congregations that gather together truly and rightly in your name to serve you. Be with them, Lord. With confidence, we lift these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, source of strength, the battle between good and evil rages, and our ancient foe tempts us with deceitful and empty promises. Keep us steadfast in your word, strengthen us through your sacraments, and raise us up day by day through the power of the death and resurrection of your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Spirit now and forever. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace, May we be blessed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, thank you so much for being with me this day in prayer. As hard as these days might be some days to even just put one step before the other one to keep on moving, always remember God has our back. He's on our side. God is for us. No one can be against us. May the Lord bless you and keep you this day. Amen.